find revenants and nortons equivalent circuits for the following circuit for the load resistance of 100 ohm or you can write across ab also you can write for the following circuit hence find hence find ib and v not hence find ib and v not so here so far we have seen only independent sources here we are having a dependent source what is that source the dependent source is this this is the dependent source its voltage depends upon ib its voltage depends upon ib that's why it is called dependent source while finding v thevenin and r thevenin you cannot remove that because it is dependent resistance dependent source that's why you cannot remove while finding v thevenin we will open that resistance load resistance and we will find open circuit voltage while finding r thevenin we will replace all voltage sources by short circuit current sources by open circuit and we will find equivalent resistance but here it is a voltage sources you cannot short circuit because it is a dependent voltage source that's why you cannot remove then uh, how to find r thevenin no problem in finding v thevenin we have to open 100 ohm and we have to find the voltage you will get v thevenin without removing that uh, dependent source you can find there is no change in that but while finding r thevenin you cannot remove means how you can find r thevenin r thevenin in this case r thevenin equal to r thevenin equal to v open circuit divided by i short circuit across across ab that is load across load you have to find open circuit voltage across load you have to find short circuit current the ratio between these two is r thevenin if it is a dependent source that is the difference what is a, can you give any example for a dependent source already i have seen told you what is the example for a dependent source have you studied a common emitter amplifier yes or no no okay this is a, a common emitter amplifier this is the load okay anyhow vcc voltage input voltage is given here it is grounded input signal is given here if you give small input signal here here you will get a, you will get a amplified signal you will get the amplified um, you will get a amplified signal here you will get amplified signal that's why it is called the amplifier because it amplifies the amplitude amplifies the amplitude current amplitude or voltage amplitude in this case current amplitude it increases that's why it is called the amplifier it is a dependent source we can call it as a dependent source this can be called as a dependent source because the voltage at this point vc collector voltage or collector current current through this path is called collector current ic ic equal to beta times ib beta times ib ib is base current this is the base current ib so if you give a small signal whose current is very small means it will be amplified beta times suppose beta equal to 100 means it is amplified 100 times that's why it is called amplifier that's why it is called amplifier if you talk with the small magnitude uh, with the amplitude our sound our voice is uh, amplified in amplifier because the amplifier magnifies that then it is given to speaker this is example for uh, example for uh, dependent current source 
here it's uh, it is a current source whose uh, ib this is uh, a part of this circuit uh, in that uh, depends upon ib the ic will be ic equal to beta times ib that's why this is called a dependent current source sorry dependent current source it is a dependent current source beta times ib example for this this circuit can be drawn like this this circuit can be drawn like this like that this is one such dependent circuit one such dependent circuit it is a voltage source not current source whose voltage v not equal to 50 times ib current through 100 ohm current through 100 ohm so for that circuit how to find r theorem is v open circuit voltage divided by i short circuit current through ab that's all so how to find uh, Thevenin circuit. So we have to consider by open circuit that uh, uh, load milliamps, 60 milliampere, and here it is A, and this is uh, B. 100 ohm is load, that's why it is removed, and uh, this is uh, plus minus V naught equal to 50 times IB. Two fifty ohm. Here in this case, V not equal to fifty times. What is IB? IB equal to open circuit. What is IB? Zero. That's why fifty times zero equal to zero. V not equal to zero. It is nothing but a short circuit. It is not, zero means voltage source is zero means it is nothing but a short circuit. We did it short circuit. Automatically, it becomes short circuit. Automatically, it becomes short circuits. Okay, now we have to find voltage across A and B. How to find that? What is uh, uh, the drop across 250 ohm? This is zero volt. That's why voltage at uh, C and A are equal. Voltage at C and A are equal. Why? Because it is short circuit. Because it is short circuit that's why voltage at c and voltage at a are equal we can just ignore that a short circuit path like that we can consider that voltage source what is voltage across therefore voltage at a is voltage drop across 250 ohm if you assume b is the reference we are assuming that b as the reference therefore 250 multiplied by therefore v a equal to v a equal to 250 multiplied by 60 how much 60 milliampere. Milliampere means 10 power minus 3. So 250 multiplied by 60 into 10 power minus 3 equal to 15 volt. Equal to how much? 15 volt. Therefore, VA equal to 15 volt means VAB equal to what? VAB equal to, here it is 0. If we travel along this direction, along, sorry, current direction is this way. Current direction is this way. If you travel along this direction, there will be a fall in potential. Fall of 15 volt means VA equal to 15 volt. Here, 0 volt. Therefore, VAB equal to 15 volt or V Thevenin equal to 15 volt. V Thevenin equal to 15 volt. Now, we have to find R Thevenin. Here, we cannot remove that. Uh, we cannot remove that dependent source. That's why we cannot find R Thevenin in a conventional way. For that, we have to find the short circuit across AB. Short circuit this, short circuit this. If you short circuit this, what you will get is your circuit becomes like this 60 milliampere, 60 milliampere, and short circuit, short circuit across AB, across AB. You made a short circuit across AB, and this dependent source comes into picture. Why V naught equal to 50 times IB? This short circuit current is IB. This is I short circuit. I short circuit current is IB. That is equal to 50 times I short circuit. And you are having a voltage of 250 ohm. Find, find the short circuit current. How much current will flow through this? 
how much current will flow through is definitely all 60 milliampere will flow through AV. Why? Current choose the short circuit path. Always current choose the short circuit path. Because the 60 milliampere has to come here. Am I correct or not? It should come to the battery. Current source. Other end of current source must be 60 milliampere. Why? Because in the positive side is 60 milliampere means negative side also 60 milliampere. All the 60 milliampere will flow through this, through this short circuit path. Any other current? This here, this 50 equal, this V naught equal to 50 times IB. 50 times IB. That is short circuit current. That is not 60 milliampere because that current also flowing through this. That we do not know. So we can write, we can write like this. This is I1, let it be I2. What is, uh, this is I short circuit. Therefore, I1 incoming current plus I2 also incoming current. That's why positive. The I short circuit is outgoing current. That's why minus I short circuit equal to zero. That is KCL. It must obey KCL. It must obey KCL. Therefore, but I1 equal to, I1 equal to 60 milliampere. I1 equal to 60 milliampere. Plus I2, we do not know. Already I told you that you can put anywhere that 250 ohm. We are assuming that at B it is reference. We are taking B as reference. You can replace 250 between this node, this node A and this battery. You can put anywhere. You can mentally imagine like that. So what is the current? V naught must be higher than A. V naught, V naught, of course, V naught. A is at zero potential. Am I correct or not? Because A and B are short circuited. A and B are short circuited. That's why A is at zero potential. A is at zero potential. Definitely V naught must be higher than only there will be current through 250 ohm. So this can be imagined like this. Imagine. Don't do in that circuit. You can put for convenient purpose we are putting. Having the same meaning. This is V naught. So, what is current from V naught to A? V naught minus A divided by 250. A is 0. Therefore, V naught divided by I2 equal to V naught divided by 250. Am I correct or not? V naught divided by 250 minus I, I short circuit minus because I short circuit we have to find equal to 0. What is V naught? What is V naught? V naught is 50 times IB. IB is I short circuit. Therefore, V naught can be written as 50 times I short circuit. Therefore, this equation becomes 60 milliampere. Sometimes you need not put that milliampere. Instead, you can write um, the current is in milliampere. You can write one line and you can put simply 60. Current is, but you should be very careful. If some other current in ampere means you should not mix. So 60 or better, you can put 60 into 10 power minus 3. If you are familiar in Calci entering 10 power minus 3, you can put 60 into 10 power minus 3, you can put. Then no problem. Here we are handling this in milliampere. That's why 60 milliampere you can put or simply 60 you can put. But you should be very careful. V not equal to what? V not equal to 50 times I short circuit. 50 times I short circuit. 50 times I short circuit divided by 250 divided by 250 divided by 250 minus I short circuit equal to 0. 50 divided by 250 equal to how much? 1 by 5. 0. 0.2. 0. 0.2. Therefore, this can be written as 60 milliampere 60 milliampere plus 0. 0.2 I short circuit minus I short circuit equal to 0 or I short circuit 0.8 times I short circuit equal to uh, 60 milliampere. Therefore, I short circuit equal to I short circuit equal to here I will write I short circuit equal to 60 milliampere divided by 0.8. 
equal to how much? 75 milliampere. 75. 75 milliampere. So I short circuit we got. I short circuit we got. V thevenin we got. That, that is V open circuit. V thevenin is what? V open circuit. What is the resistance? V open circuit divided by I short circuit. Here, this is equal to how much R thevenin equal to? Uh, voltage is how much? 15 volt. 15 volt divided by short, short circuit current is 75 milliampere. 75 into 10 power minus 3 or 75 milliampere. It becomes 10 power 3 if it comes to the numerator. 15 by 75, how much? 200. Equal to, equal to 200 ohm. Equal to 200 ohm. Therefore, then the circuit becomes V Thevenin equal to 15 volt R Thevenin equal to R Thevenin equal to 200 ohm. This is the equivalent circuit across AB. Across AB, current through this is sorry. What is that resistance load resistance? 100 ohm. 100 ohm. Now you can find that current IB. IB equal to what? IB equal to IB equal to how much? 15 divided by 200 plus 100. That is equal to how much? Point, uh, point zero 0.05 ampere or 50 milliampere. 50 milliampere. Therefore, V naught equal to what? V naught equal to 50 times 50 times IB. That is equal to 50 times 50 milliampere. 50 milliampere. That is equal to how much? Milliampere means 10 power minus 3. So, 25,000. That is equal to 2,500. Or we can write this is millivolt or 2.5 volt. If you multiply by milliampere, you will get millivolt or 2.5 volt. So current is 50 milliampere. Let us uh, check uh, in Norton's also. What is short circuit current? What is short circuit current? That is I Norton. Short circuit current how much? Uh, 75 milliampere. 75 milliampere. What is uh, R Thevenin? R Norton equal to R Thevenin equal to how much? 200 ohm. 200 ohm. A, B. A, B equal to 100 ohm. 100 ohm. Therefore, what is I, B? Current through this is I, B. Current through this is I, B. I, B equal to, I, B equal to what? Total current, 75 milliampere multiplied by other branch resistance. That is 100, sorry, 200 divided by sum of resistances, 300. Sum of uh, resistances that is 300. 2 by 3, 2 third of 75 milliampere. How much? Uh, 50. 50 milliampere. We got the same answer. V naught equal to 50 times IB that is equal to 2.5 volt. We got the same answer. So, Norton's theorem and uh, uh, Thevenin's theorem give the same result. In this sum, what is important? You cannot find R Thevenin simply by looking across AB. In the earlier circuit, what we did, we are looking the R Thevenin across AB. That is not possible in this case. In this case, we have to find short circuit current and open circuit voltage. The ratio between the two is R Thevenin. That is R Norton. We can say R Thevenin or R Norton. Both are same. So in that way, both are same. 